Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Iowa's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. So they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Michigan today in Evanston, Illinois, getting ready to serve you this exciting matchup. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Iowa tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 32. Well, the crowd has been waiting for him all day. Gage's big playability about to be on display in front of the home crowd here. He's set to take his first snap as he brings the offense out, Kurt. And, Brad, this kid's reputation precedes it. The entire offense is designed around him. As his performance goes, so will his team. So let's see what he can do in front of this big crowd. Just a complete leader. Freeman gets the ball. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. That'll make it 77. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Northwestern's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 35. It, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try. They'll bring him down at the 36. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. He'll get the call again. And down he goes at the 48. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll bring him down at about the 41. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. with room to work. 
Tackle made at the 23. i tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. Big opening. And they push him out at the six-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Scrambled. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 65-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Davis is lined up to kick this one off. May from the seven, brought down at the 28. Iowa's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, Get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Hand off inside. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Check you. He's on the run. And he's level at the 26-yard line. The Wildcats have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. Lee is back deep to return the punt. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Iowa is up by a touchdown. complete he's hit right away second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down he's tackled around the 31 yard line first down his eye on it makes the catch and he's tackled right around the 18 yard line first and 10 ball on the 18 church on the give he takes it right side for a good game that'll make it second and four Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Hawkeyes lead 7-0. 
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Iowa up seven points. He's taken down at the four. through a defender and he's in. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. Boy, Brad, this guy's having a huge first half. Already two rushing touchdowns and we know he can throw the football. I love to see his willingness to be able to run with the football and it puts so much pressure on a defense. He makes the PAT. and ready for the kickoff. Freeman from the six. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Taken down at the 46. That brings up second and one. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of four yards on the play. Third down. From their own 42-yard line. Third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page. And they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. He's taken down at the 40. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Excellent open field tackle. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 42. at midfield makes it out to about the 39 from the 39 yard line first down Receiver. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds. The 39-yard line.
Looks middle, got his back. He's at the 30, and down he goes around the 23-yard line. Team 16 on the play. First down. From the 23-yard line, first down. the stop at about the 15 yard line not a bad little play there yeah this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game out to about the 12 yard line they've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall this is the eighth play of this drive church gains about five yards on the run that brings them second and five from the seven yard line Second down. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. This is the 10th play of this drive. Fuller with a nice play fake. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, get you up to date on the action in Denton. And for North Texas, they're looking to win two in a row. Hester's stability in the passing game is completely evident already with a touchdown pass. The mean green are on top, 14-7. All right, thanks, Reese. Davis looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. A little toss across the middle. They'll bring him down to the 34-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. quickly it really wasn't badly played by the defense but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you from their own 39 yard line it's second down scrambling around he's wrapped up for the sack and for carter that was sack number two that'll bring up third and eight From their own 36 yard line. It's third down. He's got it with room to run. He's pushed out of bounds around the 45 yard line. grab there you know it may be simple but whenever you can gain solid yardage you're doing something right from midfield second down and he tackles him hard the 38 yard line now he 
tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 37. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnover. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He lets it fly. And he's hit immediately. We played a half of football here. Iowa's got a three touchdown advantage. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, but I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Lee from the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Boy, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead. Taking the field again now is the offense. And I gotta tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. And they push him out at the 32-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tosses it out. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48. The thing about the toss is if the blocking is set up well out in front of the runner, he can really pick up a good head of steam before he encounters any potential defenders. From the 42 yard line. Second down. Makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line. Defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. It's away, short punt.
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down around the 26-yard line. Six yards that time on the pass play. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. Six-yard line. And a quick throw. And he shoved out of bounds at the 36. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He's gobbled up in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 37-yard line. Here they come. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's at the 20. The 10. And he's tackled at the 1. Now let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. They're not done yet. And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Tacks on the extra point. Northwestern is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. The 50 heading for the corner. Inside the 30. He finally goes down at the 11. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Hand off inside, and now the ball is loose. The offense blows on it. They'll knock him down for a loss. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Second down and 14. Ball on the 15-yard line. Big opening. He's taken down around the four-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. That makes it third and three. him hard at the two-yard line. This one should be makeable. The kick is up, and it is good. Davis 
as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. Brought down at the 29-yard line. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. That makes it second and eight. So with one quarter remaining, Iowa leads it 24-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. six-yard line. He's into the open field. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Stop at around the 28 yard line. Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 16 yard line. with it and he's got room huge play and it's gonna be first and goal first and goal for the five they're knocking on the door and now he's got room to run touchdown wildcats point an eight play 72 yard drive and the result seven points Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense and down he goes at the 43 yard line both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop takes it up the middle for a nice run that makes it second and two so it's second down and about two yards to go
Church gets the call again. He fights forward to about the 33. First down. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Ready, Wing 90, Wing 90. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Makes it to the 17. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. From the 17 yard line, first down. He makes it to the 15 yard line. A two yard run by the halfback. Northwestern's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Decent pickup. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. Northwestern's called their final timeout. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. This is the eighth play of this drive. Could have been it right there. That score might be the deciding factor of this football game. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. North Texas doing battle in Denton. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for North Texas, they're looking to put this one away. The mean green are on top. 24-14. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. May fields it at the 7. Gets out to about the 31. The Wildcats have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Tackle made at the 43. We have less than a minute to go. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Stops the clock with a spike. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Out of bounds at the 48. That makes it fourth and four. Makes the first down catch. Tackle at about the 43 yard line. Caught in a big hit, he stopped in his tracks. The spike will stop the clock. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. 
Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at about the 29 yard line. Spikes the ball. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. He zips it out to the left. Johnson is the intended receiver on the way. Here's the 11th play of the drive. So that's going to do it. The Hawkeyes take this one. 31-14. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.